Did you know the intro to Baby Lemonade was just Sid Barrett warming up on guitar? David Gilmour hit record and decided that magical moment would start this album. Today we're celebrating 55 years of Barrett, an album full of hidden gems and interesting stories. November 14th marks the 55th anniversary of the UK pressing of Sid Barrett's Barrett. Sid is Piper. My journey into Sid Barrett's world began some, around high school, around 1986. My friend Jerry introduced me to Sid era Pink Floyd. Sid quickly became my favorite Pink Floyd member, and that era remains my favorite version of Pink Floyd to this day. This was Sid's second solo album recorded three years after the debut Pink Floyd's Piper at the Gates of Dawn, and two, about two years after he left the band. It was produced by David Gilmour and Rick Wright. Barrett was recorded at Abbey Road Studios during the breaks when Pink Floyd wasn't working on Adam Hart Mother or touring in support of it. Sid was even known to peek in on the Adam Hart Mother sessions. Sid was lead in backing vocals, electric and acoustic guitars. David Gilmour was on bass, 12 string guitar. He played slide guitar on Wind and Dined, additional organ on It Is Obvious and Gigolo Ant, drums on Dominoes. Rick Wright played the Hammond organ, the piano, Harmonian, the Woolitzer electric piano, and the tack piano. I don't know what the tack piano is. Jerry Shirley of Humble Pie played drums. Roger Waters and David Gilmour produced Sid's first album, The Madcap Laughs, in 1969. This time, Gilmour and Wright took the lead. Gilmour aimed for a cohesive band sound, with Jerry Shirley recalling, what David Gilmour wanted and tried to do, unlike the first record, The Madcap Laughs, was to have a unified rhythm section that played the entire record like any band would do, which meant me, Shirley on drums, David on bass, Rick Wright on keyboards, and Sid on all guitars. Dave was adamant about that. Rick Wright later added, Dave and Roger did the first one, Madcap Laughs, and Dave and I did the second one, but by then it was just trying to help Sid any way we could, rather than worrying about getting the best guitar sound. You can forget about that. It was just going into the studio and trying to get him to sing. This one, this one's called, well, I suppose it's called Rats at the moment. I don't know, dig the animals. It's irrelevant, they're animals. My own fetish. Barrett included 11 songs, with the 1993 CD reissue featuring nine bonus tracks from the original sessions and alternative takes. Two days before recording began, Sid appeared on John Peel's Top Gear program on the BBC, performing one track from the Madcap Laughs, Terrapin, and three tracks destined for Barrett, Gigolo Ant, Baby Lemonade, and Effervescing Elephant, as well as Two of a Kind, which was written by Rick Wright. David Gilmour played bass and Jerry Shirley accompanied on bongos and Sid did all the vocals and guitars. These sessions were later released as Sid Barrett's Peel Sessions in 1988. The first solo Sid I ever heard came from this album and some of my favorite tracks and versions are this Peel Sessions. Open your eyes and don't be blind. You see we're two of a kind. My friend Jerry, who introduced me to Sid, once did an amazing cover of Wine and Dined. He played all summer. For, for the whole summer, I thought it was his original song until I picked up Barrett and heard Sid's version, and I had to call him out on it. The album cover itself was done by Sid using one of his early Cambridge drawings. Let me show you the pressings I have in my collection. The 1970 UK first pressing with the laminated cover on the green Harvest label, 
another UK first pressing with a laminated cover, early second pressing with the textured cover. This is my Japanese pressing white label promo on red vinyl. This is one of my more expensive and rare Pink Floyd, Sid Barrett related items. White label promo, red vinyl, Japan. First pressing Japan with the OB strip and insert. On red vinyl, stock black label. The insert. Second pressing Japan, black vinyl and black stock label. Third pressing from Japan, black vinyl, stock label. I realized it didn't have the original double album that came out in 1974 in UK. They repackaged Madcap Laughs and Barrett, but I have the Italian version, Madcap Laughs and Sid Barrett, Italian Harvest Green Labels. The Barrett album would not be released in the United States until 1993 on CD. And part of that reissue was the Sid Barrett Crazy Diamond box set. It's got the Madcap Laughs, Barrett, and Opal. In 2000, in Europe, Simply Vinyl did a pressing of Barrett. I have the promo version of the Simply Vinyl pressing as well. The label. In 2023, we have the U.S. solo works of Sid Barrett by Third Man Records. I joined the club, grabbed this set, and promptly left the club. It's got all three of his albums. Madcap Laughs. Barrett and Opal. It came with a seven inch single, um, David Gilmore covering Dark Globe from Europe 2006 and doing Dominos. Some of my favorite tracks on this album include Baby Lemonade. Please, baby lemonade. Is it obvious? Wind and Dine, an effervescing elephant. An effervescing elephant with tiny eyes and great big trunk one whispered to the tiny ear, the ear of one inferior, that by next June he'd die, oh yeah. Each song illustrates his artistry and his whimsical style about him in his solo years. Looking back on 55 years of Barrett, it's a reminder of Sid Barrett's irreplaceable place in rock and roll history. His music, though marked by fragility, continues to captivate and inspire fans around the world. This album is more than just a collection of songs. It's a portrait of a unique artist who left a lasting legacy despite stepping out of the spotlight way too soon. If you don't have anything by Sid Barrett, I suggest this, the 2011 Introduction to Sid Barrett. It covers his work from Pink Floyd through his solo years. It also includes the amazing song, Bob Dylan Blues, that was recorded as part of the Barrett sessions, but never made it to the album. And it never, no one's even heard it until the 90s. Got the Bob Dylan Blues and the Bob Dylan Shoes and my clothes and my hair's in a mess. But you know, I just couldn't care less. There's also a new documentary called Have You Got It Yet? The Story of Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd. And it is a really good portrait of Sid Barrett. Thank you for joining me in celebrating this special anniversary. If you enjoyed this video and want to explore more about Sid's journey and other iconic records, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Happy anniversary, Barrett. Rest in peace, Sid Barrett. Your music lives on.